In this video, I will go over the complete installation of RStudio. RStudio is a popular interface to the statistical programming language R. This means that in order to use RStudio, R must already be installed. You can also use RStudio to write reports in PDF format. For this, you need a distribution of the typesetting language LaTeX. Note that you can also create Microsoft Word files from within RStudio, and you should definitely give this a try. However, LaTeX offers far more flexibility in terms of layout and tends to look more professional out of the box. The first step is to download and install R from r-project.org. Or you can just Google the letter R, which will usually give the relevant link at the top. From here, you can directly go to the download page, or you can navigate to the main site and go to Download R over here. Once you're over here, you have to choose a mirror. Which one does not really matter because R is not a big program. So for example, simply choose the zero cloud and then choose the relevant version for your operating system. Once you've done that, there's a link that says install R for the first time. Now some of you may have used R before, but that doesn't change the installation procedure. Whether you've used R or not, you should press install R for the first time. Then, at the top it says, download R and the current version that is available for the operating system that you chose. Click this and the right file will be downloaded. Once the download is completed, Windows users press the .exe file and Mac users the .pkg file. This will open an installer where you can just press next without changing any options. Just go with the defaults. When the installation is complete, Press finish to close the installer. You don't have to run R. The next step is to download and install RStudio from rstudio.com. Or again, you can simply Google RStudio and the top link is usually the one you'll want. You can go directly to the download section over here or you can go to the main page and navigate to products, open source, RStudio. Once you're over there, Scroll down until you find a link that says download RStudio desktop and then go to RStudio desktop and choose the free license. Over here, there is a download link, download RStudio for Windows, or you can scroll down to find the correct operating system. When you've found the right link, click it and wait for the download to complete. Once you've downloaded RStudio, click on the installer and simply go through the menu choosing the default options. You should now have R and RStudio installed. The last step is to download and install a LaTeX distribution. We will be using TinyTech, which we can install from within RStudio. This means that we can now open RStudio. When you open RStudio for the first time, it will look something like this with three different panes. What each pane is for will be explained in the next video. To install TinyTech, Click anywhere in the console, which is the left pane, and then type the following. Install.packages, open brackets, quotation mark, either single or double, tiny tech, then close the quotation mark and close the brackets, and press enter. Note that like most programming languages, R is case sensitive, so be sure that all letters are lowercase. While there is still new text appearing in the console, or if you see a red stop button over here, then our studio is still busy. If nothing seems to happen and there is no red stop button over here, then the installation is complete. Once it is, type the following. Tiny tech, two columns, install underscore tiny tech, and then open and close brackets. And then press enter again. Again, wait for the installation to finish. There are two warnings about luatech.dll that almost always appear during the installation. You can simply ignore these and press OK. If you do run into any trouble, go to the TinyTech website in the description below and look under For Our Users. Now let's verify that everything has installed correctly. To do so, we're going to knit a standard template to PDF. Go to File, New File, and then select our Markdown. Note that when you do this for the first time, you'll be prompted to install some packages. Press yes and wait for all the installation to complete and after that try again. Once you're over here, select document and then choose PDF format. 
You can change the title if you want, and you can change the author and then press OK. We will go over what everything in this template file means in the next video. For now, we're just going to knit this file to PDF. If you selected PDF in the previous screen, you can simply click here to knit the file to PDF. Otherwise, you can go over here and select Knit to PDF. Before you're able to do so, you have to save your R Markdown file, so create a new folder and give your file a name. After that, RStudio will knit the file to PDF. If you're able to produce this file, then that means everything is installed correctly and you can move on to the next video. If you can't produce this file, then try to copy the text of your error message and search for it online. Also have a look at the description below for some common problems and how to solve them. Errors either appear here in the console or over here in line. Errors may seem somewhat frustrating early on, but these are a fundamental part of programming and searching your errors online is an important skill. A warning is not an error. Warnings do not necessarily mean that something went wrong and are more of a programmer's way to notify the user that something has happened. They can be useful to explain unexpected results. A great resource for troubleshooting errors is stackoverflow.com. This is a programmer's Q&A. If at any point during this video you ran into issues with errors, please see if you can find the error message on this website. If you cannot, you can write a new question. And of course, if you're watching this video in the context of a course, then you can ask your course supervisor for help. Thank you for watching this video.